Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the leather wrapping. So we've got our necklace all strung. We've got the knots on each end. Okay, then you're going to put all of your strands together. Make sure it's nice and even. And you're going to put a knot in your uh, sinew that is going to have all six strands in there. This one's a three strand necklace, so be three strands on each side. So then you're going to knot it at about two and a half inches. Okay, put that knot in there. Generally, I've got this extra here, but generally I'll snip it down and I'll melt the end of it with a lighter. You don't have to do that. It helps it be more secure if you do. Um, so the next step is to um, gently put your legs in. I learned this from an elder. Okay, so you'll put your legs in so that it has your thread here. Um, you can do it without putting, putting it on your legs. You can wrap it, but it's a little more difficult. So the next thing you do is you've got your leather lacing and you're going to um, fold it in half basically and this um, part here where it meets where the fold is is where you're going to put your um, leather onto the sinew okay so you've got two parts you're working with okay so you've got your two ends here they should line up so you can pull them line them up and then you're going to start wrapping. So what you do is you lay your sinew down so that it doesn't uh, come out while you're doing it, just the ends. Um, I'm going to hold it right here in the center where that knot is. And then I'm going to take one side and start wrapping. So you're going to um, just go around the sinew and you don't necessarily want to overlap the uh, leather. You just want it to be next to um, the, the previous part you've wrapped. Okay. So I just use my index finger. I hold it with my thumbs. Um, whatever you feel like um, will help you keep it nice and, um, and flat. Okay, and then when you get to the end, you're going to angle your leather going upwards and then continue to wrap it. It's going to want to turn on you and that's okay. It, um, it'll all work out in the end. You just keep wrapping, going back up and meeting in the middle. And the nice thing about the wrap is it's not sewn. So if you feel like you messed up or you don't like the way it turned out, you can always undo it and redo it because it's just going to be um, tied in a knot at the end. If you have a friend that you want to have help you um, hold um, your leather, I mean, it does take a little bit of practice uh, so if you do have someone who wants to hold the leather for you and help you out, that is absolutely an option. So I just keep wrapping until I meet the other one in the middle. Okay. So before I tie it, take it off of my legs and hold it up and I kind of look and see where is that middle at. So you can see the middle is more here rather than over on this side. So I'm going to wrap one more, okay, and that's the middle. And then all you have to do is just tie it. Okay. 
You can tie it once and it will hold. You can tie it twice if you want to, but if you tie it just once, it will hold. The other thing is, if you don't like the way it came out, if it looks lumpy, if it looks uh, sloppy, any of that, you can absolutely just untie it and and rewrap it. That's the, the nice thing about it. If you end up wearing this and this gets, um, I don't know, sweaty or wet or dirty or anything from being on your neck, you can always switch it out. So you can always take this off and, and rewrap it with another leather lace. So that's the nice thing about it. And then it is done. So the nice thing about the smoke buckskin is that um, smoking closes up the pores on it. So it makes it so that it's a little waterproof. Um, also, bugs don't really like the smell of smoke. So um, that smokiness will keep bugs away, which is nice. So, and it's just really soft and it smells good. So hopefully you can uh, perfect the wrap and enjoy.